two very popular hikes in Yosemite have to be Taft Point and Sentinel Dome. Now both hikes start from the same trailhead, but they head out in completely opposite directions. So most people pick one or the other to head to. However, we're gonna combine them for a full loop and right in the center is one of my favorite spots. We're heading out to Roosevelt Point. Come join me on this hike today. For this full loop, you'll start off heading to Sentinel Dome and then in just over a mile, we'll reach Roosevelt Point. After that, it's a mile and a half to Taft Point. So we have just about a five mile hike today and it'll be over 1500 feet in elevation change, but we're gonna enjoy some great views along the way. The hike to Sentinel Dome starts off in the shade, but once you reach the top of the dome at just over a mile into this hike, you're at one of the most exposed places in the entire park. So it's important to pay attention to the weather. You would not want to be up there with a thunderstorm coming. up there. Let's go. Because Sentinel Dome is situated 8,100 feet above sea level, the scenery at the top offers magnificent 360 degree views from Half Dome, El Cap, and Yosemite Falls, just to name a few. But because you're so high and exposed, be aware it might be a little bit windy up here. Well, I could stay up here all day, and I have. When you're done exploring, and if you're not staying for the magnificent night sky that Sentinel Dome offers, you're gonna head back down the granite. And instead of making a right back the way you came, we're gonna make a left to head to one of the lesser visited spots in all of Yosemite. So instead of going back to the parking lot, we're heading off on the next part of our adventure. Let's go. When you're headed from Sentinel to Taft along the Valley Rim, you'll notice the signs don't show Roosevelt Point, but that's all right. As long as you're headed towards Taft Point, you're in the right direction. Let's go. This hike definitely isn't an obstacle course, but you still might have to jump over one or two fallen trees. In 1903, President Roosevelt set off on a three-day adventure with John Muir in Yosemite. And when asked about his trip, the president was quoted as saying, it was bully, I had the time of my life. It was so reviving to be close to nature. And I can almost guarantee you'll feel the same way when you visit this spot. Between the crowds that visit Sentinel Dome and Taft Point, Roosevelt Point is incredibly quiet. Even on Labor Day weekend, I'm the only person here.
once you've filled your camera with pictures and your heart with memories here at Roosevelt Point, it's off on the last leg of our journey. We're headed to Taft. loss from Sentinel to Roosevelt and then the 400 foot elevation gain from Roosevelt Point to Taft Point. You could absolutely reverse that, start at Taft and go all the way through Sentinel if you prefer. While there is a little extra hiking involved in this particular trail, it's a lot of fun. Taft Point rises 3,500 feet above the valley floor. In fact, it's actually 300 feet taller than Glacier Point. It's safe to explore here, but you might not want to get too close to the edge if you have a fear of heights. Thanks for joining me today on the Sentinel Dome, Roosevelt Point, and Taft Point Loop. For more information, see my blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.